Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. wisdom of the Lord, let us consider how we have lived, confessing our sins and trusting in the mercy of God. Please join me in the prayer of confession. Merciful God, we confess that we have not been faithful children. We have not lived by your law. We have remained silent in the face of evil. We have not refrained from deceit. We have not followed in the way of peace, and we have not honored all that is true and good. We have been a foolish and immature people who resist the holy wisdom you graciously offer. Forgive us our sin, O God, and lead us to sincere repentance through Jesus Christ. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ offers himself as the bread of life to all who would receive him. This proves his love for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, through the reading of Holy Scriptures, feed us with your living word and reveal to us the way of everlasting life. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn her seven pillars. 
She has slaughtered her animals, she has mixed her wine, and she has set her table. She has set out her servants' girls. She calls from the highest places in town, you that are simple, turn in here. To those without any sense, she says, come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Lay aside immaturity and live and walk in the way of insight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 34. O fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and covets many days to enjoy good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Epistle of Paul to the Ephesians. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. So do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery. But be filled with the Spirit as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs amongst yourselves singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to God the Father at all times and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to John. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day, for my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate and they died. 
but the one who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Friends, as Christ offered himself for the life of the world, let us pray for the needs of the world. God, we pray for the church in every land. Confirm in the hearts of Jesus' disciples a will to serve you by loving their neighbors and doing good to their enemies. For the church across the world, merciful God, hear our prayer. God, we pray for all those who lead your church through the world. Guide the bishops, pastors, elders, deacons, teachers, and administrators who order the life of Christian communities and strengthen them to be faithful in their calling and humble in service. For our Detroit Presbytery and the session of this congregation and all those who lead the churches throughout the world, merciful God, hear our prayer. God, we pray for those who govern the nations and exercise authority in civic life. Give our governing officials wisdom in the ways of peace and justice and a determination to pursue the common good. For our president, our governor, for our mayor, and those called to rule in every nation and city, merciful God, hear our prayer. God, we pray for the sick, the poor, and the oppressed. Help those who are in trouble and stir up in your church a desire to be your instruments in the relief of human misery. For all those in need, merciful God, hear our prayer. God, we pray for our planet Earth. Calm the storms and quiet the rumbling volcanoes. Give us seasonable weather and tranquil seas. Let Earth yield in abundance of fruit for the flourishing of every creature and give humankind the will to use its resources wisely. For the good earth, merciful God, hear our prayer. Merciful God, hear these, the prayers of your people, and grant what we ask in faith we may receive according to your gracious love. Joining our prayers together with Christians in every time and place, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
church, go forth to love and serve God in the strong name of Jesus. May the blessing of God, source of life, the grace of Christ, the bread of life, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, the power of fire, be with you today and always. Amen.